Welcome to our last Eagle Pride. Unfortunately, it's a virtual Eagle Pride celebration. It's, it's, it's a time where we can actually validate our students, all the great things that they've been doing. I want to really thank all the, the leadership that we've had from our community members this year for coming out and our faculty who've been nominating our students and uh, videotaping themselves at their homes. But uh, mostly it's the kids, it's the students, all the great things that they've done. I know that uh, we're not inside the cafeteria, we're not in there with the crowd. We're not having all the applause that we typically would have, but hopefully we can get a little something out of this today and we can really appreciate all the nice things that our students have done. And, um, you know, it, it's funny to see because we're putting this together and you can actually see an awful lot of the, the growth from the students when they first took these pictures to where they're at today. Um, an awful lot of growth that's going on. Hopefully the growth is still happening at your homes and you're still able to get a lot of the great things done and share some of the nice experiences that you're having with the family. So let's get right to it today. Let's have some fun with this. Let's enjoy our final Eagle Pride of the 2020 school year. Hi, I'm Miss Olson and I nominated Michael Verney for Student of the Month for the Math Department for Computer Science specifically. Michael came to me last year wanting to take CSA as a senior and he had not taken CSP, which is our first um, computer science class. And typically I'm hesitant to do this, but I talked to him and I figured, you know, he seemed like he knew what he was talking about. I said, okay, I let him take the class. And he came in this year and just really impressed me with his abilities. He picks things up really quickly. He's a great collaborator and a great classmate to have um, in the room. He works really well with others and he's really good at persevering through really difficult problems. A lot of kids tell me CSA is the toughest class they take in high school and he has done it with a really positive attitude and um, and he's really impressed me. So Michael, thank you so much. I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to have you in class and now go get a five on that AP exam. For Student of the Month for the World Languages Department, I am very excited to present this award to two students. First, Lisa Sula is a student in my second hour AP Spanish class. I've known her for three years and I've been able to have her in class all three of those years. And she has always been known to me as a student who is ready to participate and ready to learn Spanish. She's very passionate about the language and the culture and goes out of her way to do things outside of school or have conversations with me before or after class about what she's doing. So Lisa, you are very deserving of this. It has been awesome to know you for the past few years and I wish you all the best in the future. Next, I'm also proud to announce this award to Kate Jackson. Kate has also been a student of mine for the past three years and she got her start in my Spanish two class her sophomore year. She was generally a more quiet student back in that class specifically because it was a rambunctious crowd but I got to know her much better her junior and senior year in Spanish Three Honors and now AP Spanish. Kate always diligently does her work and tries her best and she always does every single optional practice especially now that I've been putting out during e-learning. So Kate I just want to say I am so proud of you. You've done such an amazing job and most importantly it's just been really fun getting to know you as just an awesome individual. Congratulations. Hey Eagles, it's Miss Mulchin and I nominated Riley Jones for Eagle Pride because she has been a positive leader throughout the entire dance season as well as postseason by being active and involved in Zoom calls with her teammates. Riley represents the Lakes dance team with pride and Coach Will and I appreciate how inclusive and respectful she is to everyone that she meets. Congratulations, Riley. I'm nominating Stacy Bedke as an Eagle Pride recipient this month. Stacy always goes above and beyond in every single class and every single club. I have had the pleasure of knowing her in Eagle Pals as well as FCCLA and preschool this year. Stacy is the sort of person that always asks, what can I do to help? She's willing to go above and beyond in every single area. Throughout e-learning, she sent me many emails to say, what can I do to help with the preschoolers? She was willing to fix memory books and update any lesson that needed it. I really appreciate her help all year this year. 
Hi, my name is Whitney Walsh, um, and I am a social studies teacher, and I would like to recognize two of my students um, for student of the month in social studies, the first being Andrew Roth for his outstanding efforts in human geography. Um, I think Andrew has been amazing. He is someone, however, who could easily fly under the radar, and he should not. He is incredibly consistent in his efforts. Um, he is always trying to do what he's supposed to do and do it on time, do it well uh, throughout the year, um, even when the class has been challenging. Throughout the year, he has done his assignments. He's come in for test corrections outside of class time. Uh, he participates and contributes uh, great ideas to our class discussion. Um, he's also someone who's able to work with anybody in the class, which is absolutely amazing. Um, he's someone who seeks help when he needs it and also offers help when he can provide it, um, which is not something that all students do. However, what has stood out to me the most and the biggest reason that I am nominating him for Eagle Pride is his efforts during e-learning have just been amazing and have blown me away. Uh, he's really stepped it up a notch. He is almost always the first person to complete assignment and he does it so well. He works really hard. Um, it's very clear that he is not going to let this uh, adversity uh, interfere with his work and his learning and his goal of passing the AP test. Um, he has obvious, it's very apparent that he's working his butt off um, to seriously prepare for this test and I'm so proud that I've been able to work with him this month or this year um, and uh, congrats Andrew. The other student that I would like to recognize um, is Tyler Donovan. He has, I have loved having Tyler in every class that I've had him in, uh, and this semester he came and worked as a student aide in my class. Um, Tyler always comes in with a smile on his face and a can-do attitude. Um, every day he comes in, he's not only willing, but excited to see what I have for him. Um, he said the most exciting days are when I have uh, different and random tasks for him to complete. It doesn't matter if I ask him to make copies or laminate, cut things out, work on bulletin boards. He's always happy to do it and does an amazing job. And most times he does a better job than I would have. Uh, <laughs> and I appreciate for that. I am so grateful for all of the help and support he's provided me this semester and for just all of the semesters that I've been able to work with him uh, as his teacher uh, congrats, Tyler, and good luck next year. I am Irina Stan, and I teach physics at Lace High School. The last few weeks have been challenging for me and my students, academically, psychologically, and socially. With all these challenges, some students stood up. The students continue to stay involved, maintain a positive attitude, and completed their assignments during remote learning, not for a grade, but with the understanding that their perseverance has a long-term uh, impact on their academic success. I am very proud of the students, and I'm honored to be part of their education. I'm gonna read their name with uh, the apology if, if I mispronounce it. Joshua Anderson, Juliet Ballman, Bryce Bowers, May Bistrek, Kevin Cialucci, Travis Cialucci, Maya Chiarino, Warren Demore, Tyson Dewey, Zoe Easterberg, Jordan Felly, Aidan Ferguson, Elisa Garrett, Brooke Goings, Kate Hoschmidt, Jade Justice, Alexis Candle, Jackie Kohler, Emma Kudelka, Sam Latbridge, Joseph Lloyd, Bryce Lucas, Thea Longway, Quinn Maloney, Taylor Marino, Nicole McCavis, Emma Magnet, uh, Ari Mears, Pearson Miller, Kendall Phelan, Nico Rivas, Riley Sanchez, McKenna Sosnowski, Shelby Stahl, Allison Stoinski, Mara Tannenberger, Julia Verish, Amelia Wyrinuk, Kate West, Tyler Will, and Claire Zutkis. Thank you.
Hi, everybody. It's Coach Plinsky. I have the privilege today of recognizing Gavin Murray, a member of the boys' varsity tennis team. Uh, Gavin has, throughout this crisis, kept an amazing positive attitude. Uh, he's always been telling me what he's been doing in order to prepare for the season. Most importantly, Gavin was the first one and has continually asked what we can do to extend the season. How can we do some summer tournaments? How can we do some stuff a little bit later on when everything opens up? So for all of Gavin's positivity and for his absolute love of the game, we recognize Gavin today. Thank you. Hello Eagles, this is Mr. Newberry. I have two students that I would like to nominate for Eagle Pride this month. Maya Dewey and Ben Newsom. Maya and Ben were my board representatives this past school year. They attended school board meetings once a month and provided the school board with the students' perspective and also gave them updates on happenings at Lakes High School. I wanna thank Maya and Ben for representing the student body at Lakes with integrity and enthusiasm. Thank you, Maya and Ben. Hi everybody, this Eagle Pride video is for Megan Blanchard from Mrs. Guther and Edie. Uh, I nominated Megan Blanchard for the last Eagle Pride of the year for being a wonderful teacher's aide for me in psychology for the first half of the semester. Um, I had Megan in AP Psychology and Regular Psychology, so this is the third year I've had the pleasure of working with Megan in the classroom, um, but this time as a teacher's aide. I'd never had a teacher's aide before, um, and Megan did a wonderful job. She was always the, you know, ready to ask what I needed done or take the initiative to create things herself, like Quizlets and review materials for the students. Um, she was always there. She was always ready to help, always had a great positive attitude. Um, so she was just a joy to have in class and I, I hate that I didn't get to end the year with her um, and I just wanted her to know how much I appreciated having her as a teacher's assistant this year and as a student in class the two years previous and I hope that everything goes amazing for her when she goes off to college hopefully this fall and that she stays in touch and shares all of her great adventures in the world of psychology. So say bye Edie! Bye! Good day. I'm Coach Colby, and I'm proud to extend uh, recognition and honor to these young ladies who have played out their four years at Lakes Community High School. They exemplify and epitomize all that is good in a Lakes student athlete. And each and every day, they have lived up to the Eagle way. Respect plus courtesy equals pride. I feel very fortunate to have coached all of them over these four years. They're all good players for sure, but most of all, they've displayed a great attitude toward the game, toward their teammates, and their opponents. I couldn't be more proud of this group of Lakes student athletes. And without further ado, I will name them off. Senior varsity captains, Kaylee Kao, Noelia Padilla, Madison Baker, Abby Finley, Elise Moran, Riley Beggs, Anna Gardner, Abby Gaeta, and a special shout out to those JV players who also played out their four years. Just a wonderful group of young ladies, great humor, uh, great players, and just great people. And that's Tessa Kohler, Anna Pollock, Erica Chamalski, and Ashlyn Bledsoe. And remember ladies, I wish you all the best in each and everything that you do in the days ahead. Congratulations on graduating, and uh, don't be a stranger. We look forward to seeing you sometime in the future back on the fields at Lakes. All the best, good luck. Hi, my name is Lisa Sprague, and I would like to introduce you to our amazing group of nominees, our senior runners. We have quite a list of students who have run for us, some of them for three years, some of them for only one semester. But it doesn't matter, they are all amazing and they all helped us out a tremendous amount. Caleb Finch, Renee Gilliland, 
Grace Goodrich, Paige Humpa, Jamie McCormick, Jenny McMahon, Nicolette Diadomska, Alexis Nuxel, and Sydney Pogline. These students are amazing individuals and you as parents should be extremely proud of the excellent young people you have raised. They are extremely helpful and hardworking. And I would have never thought that Friday the 13th when the power was out would be the last time I would see any of them. I am so sad we do not get to celebrate in the way that we normally would. But I know that they are strong and that they will come through this and have much success in the future. Congratulations, seniors. Good luck in the future. We love you and we miss you. Hello, I'm Kevin Shifley, and uh, I'm happy to give this award for Eagle Pride to Ashlyn Bledsoe. Uh, she's an exempl exemplary student. Um, she's been a four-year art student um, at Lakes and has had artwork selected for our permanent art gallery, which is on display currently and will be for a very long time. She's had work that's been in a number of different shows um, and has resulted in her um, getting some significant scholarship money for uh, college, which is very exciting. She'll be at uh, Myad next semester uh, in the fall and uh, it's an example of the dedication that she's put into her artwork and to growing as a young person and um, I'm very proud to give her this award. Congratulations Ashley. Uh, and I am happy to congratulate Georgette for uh, this, um, this award for Eagle Pride. Uh, Georgette is a four-year art student. She um, if she wasn't in a class, she was always finding time to come to the art room, uh, stopping by to say hi, stopping by on her free periods or lunch study halls to do work and um, ask questions and uh, anything she could do to get herself around the arts, art materials, art, uh, other art students uh, she was doing and uh, it shows now as she's you know, leaving us her senior year. Uh, her growth is incredible and I'm extremely proud of the person she's become and really am excited to see and keep in touch with her throughout her, her next steps uh, in art school. So congratulations to you, Georgia. That was good. Thanks for making us proud, Eagles. I really I, I felt that. That was good stuff. You know, I would rather have done this live and in person as we do on our Wednesday morning, but this was also a good time. I really enjoyed that. And I really appreciate the teachers putting out those videos and talking about our students in such a kind way. Nice job teachers. And you know what? This is just another little time that shows that our faculty, our students, our parents, and our community, we're an outstanding group. Continue your ways. I know we've got tough times ahead of us, but we're going to continue to work hard and we're going to get through it all. Take care of yourself, Lakes community.